It's technology that could be superior to the human brain. And one of its pioneers now says part of him regrets his role in creating it. 75-year-old computer scientist Jeffrey Hinton says he quit his job at Google so he can independently share his concerns about AI technology, which include fears over disinformation and stealing human jobs, but also go far beyond that. What do we do to mitigate the long-term risks of um, things more intelligent than us taking mm. control? Things like GPT-4 eclipses a person in the amount of general knowledge it has and eclipses them by a long way. Um, in terms of reasoning, it's not as good, but it does already do simple reasoning. And given the rate of progress, we expect things to get better quite fast. So we need to worry about that. It's just the latest warning that tech companies might be creating a monster they can't control. In March, after OpenAI released the latest model of its chatbot, GBT4, more than a thousand people from the tech industry, including billionaire Elon Musk and Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak, signed a letter calling for a pause on AI development, while the risks are properly studied. AI is a tool. Technology is not neutral, but we can shape it the way we want to shape it. We just have to stop being driven by profit, by competition by those questions and just place the construction of the tool in service of something bigger. And this is where regulators have a role to play, but it's not going to be easy. While organizations like the OECD have issued guidelines, little AI regulation exists. The U.S. just launched a study of possible accountability measures in April, and the European Union has put forward an Artificial Intelligence Act, but the far-reaching legislation has yet to be passed.